In this problem, we use the Taylor series of sine of x to uh, find an approximation of x minus sine of x, uh, the best approximation of the form c x to the n, where c is just some constant, uh, for values of x close to 0. So use the Taylor series that sine of x is equal to x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, and so on. And we see that using that, the x minus sine of x is just um, x cubed over 3 factorial, so you just ignore the first term and change the sign, minus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, and so on. So when x is close to 0, the term that's going to be most important is you know, x cubed over 3 factorial, and um, that's going to be the best approximation of the form c x to the n. So use x cubed over 3 factorial uh, as our approximation. Or, of course, 3 factorial is just 6. Now we want to use this to actually approximate, or to estimate um, you know, x minus sine of x or some value x close to 0. So if x is equal to 0 0.1, we see that, well, 0 point, uh, and then x minus sine of x um, should be approximately equal to, well, x cubed over 6, so 0 0.1 cubed over 6, which is uh, about equal to 0 0.0001665, if you plug that into a calculator, and, uh, excuse me, 1667, if you, and if we also use a calculator to find the um, exact value, so 0 0.1 minus sine of uh, 0 0.1. See that this is equal to well, 0 0.0001665. So in other words, this approximation is really good even for values you know, a tenth away from zero. Just taking that first term is an extremely, extremely precise approximation.